Mold Flow Insight allows you to represent multiple mold components in your analysis. Today I'm going to show you how to specify different mold materials. This allows you to accurately represent behavior and the impact this will have on cooling. When you import the geometry, the layer tree is used to organize different components. This allows you to easily manage or isolate specific components of your project. Here we can see the mold that I have already loaded in a mold flow insight. If we look at the process settings and go into the advanced options, we can see the mold material is set to tool steel P20. There are a lot of different mold materials that are offered in mold flow insight. But if your mold material isn't in here, you can go to the mold de details and change the properties so that they most likely resemble your material. If you want to change the properties of just one of your inserts or any material, you can select by layer, which is a very nice feature. If I hide all the other layers, we can see that the touches are now all highlighted. If you right click and go to properties, this is where you can change the material. If you just go to select, you can see all the different materials that are offered in the software. I'm going to use a mold max material. Now that we understand the mold differences between P20 and mold max, we can look at the behavior of the part as well. For both molds, I did a cool fill pack warp analysis with only the insert material being changed. If I go to the temperature mold insert transient analysis, I can go to a specific section of the part and see exactly what temperature it is going to be. You can even play through the cycle time. I'm going to stop when I see that it's the highest and then examine the spot so that I can know exactly what that temperature is compared to using a P20 steel and the Mold Max steel. You'll be able to see that it gets the temperature out a lot quicker in the Mold Max. Here we're seeing a comparison between 124 and 94, which is a pretty big difference whenever your part is going to be concerned with warping. I'm going to create a temperature mold insert transient XY plot in order to pick the location I just saw that was getting hotter than the P20 in the mold max. I'm going to compare this to another spot on the part that was creating a cooler temperature. Here you can see that the temperature is much more even across the part when you use mold max versus P20. If we look at the time to reach ejection temperature of the part, we can see that the, if we create a section view, we'll be able to see hot spots in the part because this is where the material is not able to cool as quickly. Here we can see the red is creating a big difference in warpage. The temperature is between 12 seconds higher. Another nice plot to show is this temperature plot whenever you set it to the transition temperature. This allows you to see which material is still molten at what times. If you see, the mold max is able to get the material out much quicker because it is cooling a lot faster. This helps in warpage because your part is able to cool more evenly and much quicker. Next, we can look at the deflection all, eff all effects plot in order to see the warpage that occurs between using a P20 material and a mold max. This helps you decide if you want to go for a more expensive material or if it's worth it to keep the material that you have. Here we can see a difference of about 0.66 to 0.4 millimeters, which will create some problems in your part. If we go to examine, we can compare the same exact spot on the part, which is very nice. If you set the scale, you can see a more accurate representation. Another nice plot is using the deflection all effects and creating a path plot across the top of the part that's warping. Here you can see a much more drastic occurrence in warpage in the P20 compared to the mold max. Being able to simulate cooling effects of changing mold materials allows you to evaluate the potential benefits of using different mold materials on cycle time and part quality 
before investing in more expensive mold materials.